Hello there. I am coming on here today to share with you um, struggles that I have been going through in my walk with Jesus um, and the importance of reading God's word and obeying God's word and getting God's word in you. Um, so I have been feeling very empty, very distant from God. And the reason is, is because I've been drifting away from the word of God. The word of God is not boring, although the devil will make us feel and think like that sometimes. There's so much life in the word of God, and he, he can also talk, to, he talks, not can, he does. <laughs> he talks to us through his word, and he also talks to us other ways. But check this out. The word of God is. Check this out. Check this out. See, maybe, maybe you've been walking with Jesus and you feel empty and dry too. Check this out, okay? This is going to encourage you to get in the Word. Okay, I've got a couple scriptures. Hebrews 4.12 For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So it's powerful. The word of God is powerful and very amazing. Okay, and there's also one of my very favorite Bible verses. John 6.63 says, it is the spirit that quickeneth, meaning bring to life. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. When we set our mind and shh, I'm sharing out of what I've been doing lately, okay? When we set our mind on things on the earth instead of things that are above, like the scripture says, it says set your mind on things above, not things on the earth. You drift away from life. You become carnal minded. You, be, you, you sow to the flesh and you reward. Re the you reap the flesh. I feel like I've been like less interested in fellowship lately. Like I normally really love fellowship, but I've been like I don't know. It's just not quite as I've just been finding it harder to connect in fellowship and I usually really, really love it, but like I've been so sleepy on my fellowships. I mean, I work a little bit, but I shouldn't be that sleepy. It's because I'm so into the flesh. It is. It's because I have not been filling my soul with the word of God and, you know, really seeking the Lord like I need to. You can't, you know, the devil's a roaring lion. He is a roaring lion. He wants to kill, steal, and destroy the relationship that we have with God. You can't just, like, come to Jesus and just be like, I'm cool with God and live in the flesh. You have to deny yourself. You have to pick up your cross and follow Christ. You have to fill your mind with the word of God. Regularly.
and like what's the word is spirit spirit and life if you want to be filled with the joy of the lord if you want to be in the presence of god um you gotta be you gotta be filling your mind with the word you know the devil he's a he wants to he's vicious he's vicious and wicked and he doesn't play fair and he's out to kill still and destroy he's ruthless and malicious and wicked in pure darkness he is so cruel um god is the complete opposite he's completely tender and merciful and kind and he gives us instructions in the word of god i'm, I'm googling the scriptures but he gives us instructions in the word of god so we can rejoice in the lord like this beautiful image which i don't know if you can see it that well it's not my art it's somebody else's art so beautiful she just rejoices okay but you can't really see her guys the the okay let's see now you can see it maybe she's just rejoicing with the little ballerina slippers right there he wants us to be like that filled with life and and not for our glory and not for um Just so we could be joyful and fill with joy, which is great, but so that he can pour life out of us into other people that are in darkness and he wants to draw them to him and he uses us to do that. He gives us joy, he gives us peace, he gives us words of wisdom, he gives us, you know, and, and also like when you're just, um, in the word all the time the word is going to come out of you out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks so for example i've been looking at a lot of stupid cake videos lately the devil was trying to get me i just kind of started stumbling into cakes lately i'm like oh this is kind of fun it tastes good okay I'm, and then people want to encourage me <laughs> and of course it's the flesh the devil wants me to do that god doesn't want me to focus on cakes no he wants me to focus on making more YouTube videos, sharing about his word and sharing what he shows me and teaches me and focus on him and glorifying him. But the devil wants to get me focused on the flesh. Um, but so I've been watching all these cake videos and they don't like the devil. He's just, he'll just put, he will just. He is a vicious, roaring lion ready to devour whom he may. He really tries to, um, I feel like, see, my brain is scattered. I feel like my brain is scattered. I'm just like, I start talking about something and then I, I lose my train of thought. So I, can, I can't even continue. This is because this is the fruit of sowing to the flesh. I tell you, when I pursue the Lord, when I am in the word more, Oh, it's amazing. It's like water that refreshes you, that like cleanses you of stuff and gunk in there that you don't even know is in there, you know, and it's light, it's spirit and life. And like when I'm in the word a lot, then it's like, oh, just like life flows out of me. That's what he wants for us. He wants us to be vessels of honor of gold vessels are filled with something and used he wants us to be filled with his life his spirit with his word with wisdom with joy pouring out of us into others and the devil he wants us to focus on the stupid flesh oh look at some stupid cake videos oh you can make fifty dollars No, no, I am not interested in turning into a baker for the flesh. No, I will not sow to the flesh. No, I am going to pursue God. I am going to get back in the word of God. I am going to stop watching stupid videos. Oh my gosh, all these stupid videos. 
You know, like Facebook, YouTube, all these stupid videos, just like, a lot of them lately have been food, honestly. There's just the enemy, just glutton the spirit right here, trying to get in. Yeah, it's gonna come out in the name of Jesus. It got in, but it's gonna come out. Um. In the name of Jesus, because I, I am... I, the flesh does not satisfy you. Only the presence of God does. Only being filled with his word and wisdom and seeking him and does. I, I like to listen to sermons. See, in the past, I've been really on fire. And it's because I really, really guarded my eyes and ears. And it was sermons, 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 Grace for a Purpose, Lion of Judah on YouTube, reading the word, listening to the word. That's, that was my diet, spiritual diet. But lately, it has not been very good. Um, and I've been losing the joy of the Lord. Um. There's a scripture that is coming to mind that I gotta find real quick and share with you. Man, there is no life in this world. Oh, it's in Jesus. It's in His Word. It's in wisdom. It's in listening to Him, sitting at His feet, getting in prayer with Him. Okay, here we go. Proverbs twenty seven twenty. Hell and destruction are never full. So the eyes of man are never satisfied. That has been going through my mind so much lately. Like God's telling me, like, this will never satisfy you. You'll never be satisfied. It'll be never be enough. You're just so into the flesh. <laughs> I know the Lord was talking to me. He's like, no, come on, Shelly. You know what's happening here. You know what's happening. So, um, okay, wait, wait, wait. One more scripture. The word of God is spirit and life. Set your affections or mind. Look, King James says affections. Colossians 3, 2. Set your affection, affection, love, or, you know, what you're, like, drawn to, I guess. I'm going to Google affection. I see Googling things is good, too. Like, when you read the word, Google definitions. Get wisdom. It's more valuable than gold and silver. Set your affection on things above. Of and not on things of the earth. The things of this earth are what the devil wants to focus us to focus on. Carnal mind. Cakes. Hmm. Yeah, no. Things above are things that are not seen. It's the things of the spirit. It's the word of God, it's wisdom, it's understanding, it's that's what I think. Um, wait, there's another scripture that comes to mind. Um visible things. Oh, what is that scripture? Um or is that one? I'm forgetting the scriptures. Lord help me. Um. Okay, here it is. Second Corinthians four eight. Well, we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. 
but the things which are not seen are eternal. I want to read that again. Second Corinthians 4.18 Well, we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For with the things for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Things that are not seen are wisdom and un and un understanding. It's it's the riches. It's the manna. Jesus says in the Bible, He says, "I will cope. I knock. I stand at the door knocking. If you open the door, I will come in and sup with you." It is. The things that are not seen is that relationship with God. It is fellowship with brothers and sisters when love is exchanged. It is understanding wisdom. It's the word of God. It's the Bible stories. It's the word of life. It is the spirit of God. Peace, righteousness, and joy in the Holy Ghost. But, you know, I repented to God tonight. I'm not going to continue in this downward spiral of watching stupid things. And cake videos that are not, <clears throat> that are seen. Setting my mind on infections on things that are on the earth. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to stay focused on the word of God. I'm going to listen to the word of God if I can't read it. Because sometimes I'm like that. I can't read the word of God. It's hard. But I can, I can listen to it. <laughs> and um, I'm going to listen to sermons. And I am going to guard my eyes. And I'm going to guard my ears. And I am going to seek the Lord because there's only, there is no satisfaction in this world. It is not pleasurable to live for this world. To, and you know, you know, God made me so creative. There's so many things I could do and I could make so much money. But I do not care about making money. This world will never ever satisfied if you want to pursue making money oh the devil will lay out the red carpet for anybody who wants to do that for me mm -mm. no thank you i'm content with food and clothing and i am going to set my mind on things above and not on things of the earth i am gonna be i'm gonna be a vessel so god can fill me with his presence which is so much better and his word and his truth and his life so he can pour out of me into other people's soul and draw them to him and draw and deliver them from the darkness and the freaking grip of the devil who is our uh, a freaking adversary and evil 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 malicious wicked freaking demon devil is going to be burned in the lake of fire he's real he's not an He's not a figment of my imagination or any other born-again person's imagination. The spirit realm is so real. And um, if you don't know Jesus, I want to tell you in, in love, not condemnation, because I used to be in darkness myself. I want to tell you lovingly that you need to ask God for, uh, you need to tell God you're sorry for your sins and accept him as Lord and Savior and read the word of God. Because without the word of God, um, you're not going to go nowhere. You're not going to, you're not going to be transformed. And you're going to be overcome by the devil. You have to read the word of God. You you got to be born again of water and spirit. And, and that water is not talking about a physical water baptism. It's talking about.
being transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That's what it means to be born again. Born again of the Holy Spirit and the water being trans being the word of God, which is like living water. And it's being um, transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. I know I repeated myself. Um, yeah, so I hope this was an edifying video to you today. My videos are always so long. <laughs> what can I say? Um, well, so, well, hopefully it wasn't boring to you. Hopefully it was edifying. Um, have a blessed, a blessed day and don't let the devil distract you away from the word of God. Listen to sermons, guard your eyes and guard your ears and push away, setting your mind on things on the earth that eye is never satisfied. Mm. Fill your soul with the wisdom and understanding and, and, and pray because it is like a power cord if, if you are connected to the source of life, you got light. But if you're not...